Hey everybody, it's Cynthia, and I bought a few Christmas ornaments. <laughs> I was out uh, garage sailing today, and ironically, I was at a sale earlier this week, and well, last, um, yeah, a couple days ago, that had a lot of Christmas ornaments that I liked, um, a little higher end, better ones, I would say, than these here, but they were asking $5 a piece. We were considering going back today for a half price day and buying up what was left for $2.50 a piece. Um, which, quite frankly, probably would have been a better money-making deal because they were more pop culture, better ones. These, I, I'm afraid I may have let my heart again um, take over my head. I was at a local garage sale and I was going to buy one, <laughs> really, one. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I was going to buy this one, no more fun, so cute. And he said it was only a dollar. And I said, oh, if it's only a dollar, I'll buy more. And then he said, well, if you're gonna buy more, if you buy 10, I'll give you the 11th one free. And then I started to pick 10, and then he said, you know what, I'll just sell you the whole box for 40, which works out to be obviously less than a dollar a piece. And then I didn't even quite have 40, so I paid a little less than that. However, um, looking at them now, again, I think I got really excited by the, by the idea and <clears throat> may actually struggle to make the money back on these. I have not looked any of them up, so maybe there's a gem in here, but as I was unpacking them to show you guys, I noticed, um, oh, excuse me, there's quite a few duplicates, um, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because duplicates are easier to list, actually. Um, but, you know, they're not, they're not the, they're the more generic, shall we say, Hallmark ornaments. Now they are older ornaments, so maybe there's something there, but um, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm feeling like I probably shouldn't have spent what I spent. But we'll take a look at some of these and um, you can look at them with me because I've, on the, other than unpacking them all on the table, and again, I'm assuming they're all properly in their boxes. Um, yeah, that's where we are. And I did have, and I'm trying to remember, I did have a lot of older ornaments up before. Oh, these are cute, but look, right at, right off the bat, it's the dad ornament in the mom box. Um, it's very cute though, 1999, um, that one. So, you know what, let me, let me do one thing here. Hang on, I'm juggling. I said taking up my entire desk. Uh, we're also in the middle of packing a really big um, spaceship model to go out. So I'm gonna look up one or two of these uh, while we talk. Ornament, what can we call that one? Um, Dad Tin Stocking, what was it, 1999, right? Let's just spot check a couple and see if we got any goodies in this. Now again, this one being out of its bag, um, out of its box, in the wrong box. So um, not too bad, you know, it actually sells for $3.99, um, has sold, but there's a lot of them up. The question is going to be if it has the mom one too, that does even, that's better. So if I find the mom one, they're just in the wrong boxes, that would be super. So there's that. Um, this um, is just some weird Christmas teddy. Now, sometimes these oddballs are actually worth more than the Hallmarks, which is hard to believe, I know, but it's just some odd. Christmas teddy plush ornament. I don't know what that is. Him. And then this one I really like. So this is another one of these tin ornaments. So in 99, I bet you this is 99 as well. They put out a series. Oh no, this one's actually 1988. There's a series of tin ornaments because I think I've got several. Oh wow, this is actually really nice. Oh, I actually might want to keep that one for our tree. We, um, our tree is all like, spaceships and pop culture and stuff, but that's a pretty cool one. So there's that. Um, so maybe I won't look that one up just yet. I know if I look them all up, it'll be crazy. Okay, so this, I have two of these. So let's look, this is the Tin Rocking Horse. Wow, these are beautiful. Look at that. These are actually really nice Hallmark ornaments. Uh, so these I think are from the 80s. I think this box is 80. I don't know if you can get it better than I can. I think that's I think that's 83. Wow, that is an older one. Let's try that one. Let's see what we get here. Hallmark ornament. T 
tin rocking horse. Um, not particularly popular, even though it's very lovely. So it does sell for six to seven dollars with shipping. So, you know, if I if they if they do sell for that, and I sell both of these. That's fourteen dollars right there. So that gets me in the ballpark. I guess I'll do okay. All right, let's keep looking. So we've got this little guy. He is a drum. And again, this is that older, oh, clothespin soldier. Okay, there's a couple of these. Now, when I have a line, I like to put them together. So this is cute. Clothespin soldier there. And I have a clothespin soldier here. So this is a collector series. This is the fourth one. Um, this one is, let's see if we can just do Hallmark ornament. Um, if you're not familiar with um, these selling Hallmark, the, the the ones that are pop culture do tend to do better. Cars and things also tend to do better. But sometimes you can do well with ones that were collectors of a series um, because people need a particular one. So somebody sold a series of these. Oh, they actually sold this one for 10. That's pretty nice. And then this one for not so much, which is funny because I think that one's older. Sorry, this one went for 10. Um, I think I have more of these clothespins, so they might make a nice little grouping on their own for somebody who wants to collect those. Um, this is pretty generic. It's just a little bear. Puppy love. <laughs> it's a dog. Puppy love and drummer boy. Again, we're assuming most of these are in here. Oh, this one's kind of fun. Look, this one is. Let me show you this one. Look, it's a wood with a with moving parts. These are fun. I think these are back when Hallmark was still hadn't really solidified their um, hadn't really solidified their thing of doing you know pop culture plastic stuff. Let me tip you down a little bit so you can get a better view. And then here's another one from that line. Oh, second in collectible series, Cinnamon Bear. I feel like that goes with this. So these are all from the old 80s. Let me do a quick 1984 look up and see what that gets me. 1984. <laughs> Walter. So 1984's, oh, there's an Eskimo that's worth some bucks, but in the Santa, not so much. There, they like the little Eskimos. Um, Santa Mouse, Hallmark. You'd think that these 80s ones would be worth a lot, but they they um, they aren't. I notice they do tend to be more in the two to three dollar range. That's why they're better off grouping them together. And then the boxes are kind of mangled, but they're here. But a true collector is going to want a better box. So we'll see what happens there. All right, let's see this one. So this one's called Christmas Fun Puzzle. Now, I don't know, a lot of them have these stickers, say, say, 3PR. I think R is the retireds. But of course, at this point, they're probably all retired. Oh, this is fun. So look, it's a puzzle ball, like one of those, like what they call mixies, where you can mix the parts. <laughs> Santa, that's fun. So I have actually two of these. And Christmas Puzzle Ball. Uh, usually pretty good. That's from 87. It's just since we have two of those, let's look that up really quick. 87 Puzzle Ball. I'm looking things up on my iPad while we're here. Um, hmm. Well, somebody has it at $30. Somebody has it at $10. And maybe take the year out. The tricky thing with eBay sometimes is it's not that intuitive that you have to look up... Um, Oh, see, it says Christmas Fun Puzzle. That's why. Christmas Ornament Fun Puzzle. You really need to look up what it says because that's, there you go. See, it said, it looked like when I put a puzzle ball, it got like nothing. But then when I put them up with the correct wording, so always use the correct wording that it says on the box if you can. Um, again, a couple of them they have sold for seven to five to seven dollars. I have two of them makes it really easy to just say two. Um, and what I would do is take a picture of the one with the box bad. And then this person will just be happy they got a good box and that person won't be surprised that they got what they got. Is my philosophy. 
right. Um, this is just some weird little sun catcher in here, which probably has absolutely no value. Little Santa sun catcher. I'll just keep him for the moment. And this is another odd. Oh, it's a hallmark though. Brass Santa. <laughs> Something about that sounds creepy. Ooh, look at that. That's actually quite fun. Well, Hallmark really went on a went on a brass binge for a bit, didn't they? Brass Santa. Hmm. I didn't see see him in swords. Hmm. Well, I don't see him in the solds. That's Brass Santa. Hmm. And for, and unusually, ornament is larger than shown. Usually it's the other way around. So this looks like a newer one. This is Santa Claus Turn of the Century Parade. And so this was part of a collector series of Turn of the Century Parade ones. Oh, very pretty. It's not in its packaging, so it's a little bit could get damaged. But wow, look at that. Really hefty and nice. You can see where Hallmark, you know, in the 80s was doing more traditional type, um, traditional type ornaments. With, you know, um, with more of a classic style than now. Uh, I don't know that they do much of this anymore at all. If that mostly everything they do now has more of, is all plastic and, Kind of cutesy. So this actually hasn't sold well at all. It sold for $3 once and there's a bunch of them up. I'm very surprised. It's a really nice piece. All right. We have two of these. This is called Winter Surprise. Also, when you have more than one of something like this, you really want to check and make sure that they're in the same condition. If you take pictures of one and the other one is not in the same condition, that can be a real issue. They're kind of fun. Look, it's an egg with penguins skating. Oh, these are actually either broken or different because they are different. That's funny because look, the boxes both say winter surprise, but this one, they've got a songbook and this one they're skating. So this is actually two parts of, again, a similar, uh, um, two parts of a collection, a series, um, but they're not very, those boxes aren't very well marked being a series. I love this one. I don't know why. I just do. This is a little lamb with leg warmers. Oh, wow, this looks like it's never been out of its package. Is that a cute or what? That is adorable. Wow, probably out of its package. And this one is called Berry Smooth Ride. Oh, this one's still got its original packaging too. Now we're starting to move into the plastic that's more common. That's really fun, it's like a big wheel. Um, this might be from the same collection. These are from 85. Um, a bunch of those, so hang on to that. So here we have Merry Old Santa. Now they do make more like this now. These are the classic Santas. Um, I'm not gonna pull him out of this box because he's really well packed. But I think I will look him up. Merry Old Santa. This, look for series verification four. So 1993, Hallmark is lovely in that they're very good about um, putting dates on everything. Okay. Merry old Santa. And fairly clearly marking their um, series pieces so that you know which ones you have and which ones you don't. I ran into a Hallmark collector at the other sale. She had a huge book in her hands of all of the series that she needed and things. It was kind of crazy. So again, he has very little value with shipping. He goes for maybe $5. So hopefully I have more of from this series and we can put them together. Oh, like maybe, like maybe he'd go with this one. Look at that one. Well, he might be a tin one. Where's he written on all the boxes? Oh, uh, he's really well packed, but I really want to see him. Let's see. Oh, he is. He's he's tin. He's very cool. Very, very cool. Can you imagine if I could... I have to have another tree. I'd have to have one of those big houses where I have, like, four trees. Woodland Santa. From 96. Oh, 
I'm going to stop looking these up, I promise. I just, there are a couple I was curious about, so I thought I'd inform you while I was at it. Uh, again, not a lot of value, looks like. Some of them are on auction, which I find hard to believe, because they are only selling for 4 to $8, so it might be worth combining those Santas. Um, here's another old-fashioned Santa. Um, oh, look, here's the second one of those uh, sailboats. So I could actually keep one and put one up. And Windows of the World, very cute. So this is another one of these series where I guess each one is a window frame from a different country. I think this is the only one from this series I have. She is adorable. And I think that if you are Dutch, I'm assuming that is, that um, would be a very nice ornament to have on your tree. All right. Um, this is again more traditional child's third Christmas. I have a lot of these. Um, so this one, this child's third Christmas here, I actually have three of them. So I'm, I'm guessing these aren't all that popular and those might end up not selling at all and getting redonated. Collector series fifth. Oh, this is another one of the clothespin soldiers. Sorry, I'm out of the frame. This is another one of the clothespin soldiers. And here's another copy of Smooth Ride. We already looked at that one. Uh, <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Cute. Santa is a uh, farmer or gardener. I think somebody who gardens would probably really like this one. If he's in there, yeah, he seems to be. And um, let's go big. This is a series, North Pole Nutcrackers. And this is The Artist. Sorry, I know I keep getting out of frame. Uh, North Pole Nutcrackers. Let's look these up because these actually look pretty interesting. North Pole Nutcrackers. Uh, let's see. If you had them all, they sell. Um, so in general, these sell 5 to $8 range. This one, somebody doesn't have up. But if I have more of them, which I think I do over there, I'm gonna I see another one. Oh, so here's the here's the carpenter. So I have the carpenter and the artist. There might be another one hidden back there. So they might be a nice set together. Although, as much as I group nutcrackers, I think people, you know, like an artist would like the artist one and yeah. Um, we have several of these grandchild's first Christmas which again, I don't think are gonna be very valuable. And then a baby's first Christmas. Oof, filthy box on that one. And here's another baby's first Christmas. Wow, look how cute this is though. Let's see if I can get the, take the glare off so you can see this one. <laughs> that is so cute. That one is cute. That would be really sweet. And, but see, since this is 1985, it has to be somebody who collects like all of these. Or if you have a child who was born in 85, maybe it'd be fun to go back and grab this now. That's the problem with these first Christmas ones. Is unless you're selling to a completist, um, they're gonna have a hard time on those. Let's hang on to that for a second. And that one for a second. All right, here's another baby's first Christmas. Oh my gosh, another smooth ride. Oh, I'm really beginning to worry about my ability to sell these all. Uh, Rocking Horse series. I do like this one too. This is another one of the tins, I think, and it's a Zeppelin. And considering we have um, ships on ours, that one, I might end up keeping that one. That can go with our spaceships. Another baby's first Christmas. Ooh, I'm getting nervous. Oh, here's another one of the Nutcrackers. This is Animal Friend Nutcracker. So those I could put together. There's three of them. And oh, here's another one. Eric the Baker Nutcracker. This one actually recently sold for $8. That's the best of the ones I've seen so far. Yep. Uh, more of the Rocking Horse. These are two different ones in this series. I don't know the other one I lost where I put it. But if there was a third one, maybe they would go together. That would be nice. Another merry old Santa. I thought this was really pretty. Beverly and Teddy. Uh, I think that's based on some kind of a doll line. That's from 1995. 
Um, so there's several of these. Uncle Sam, oh, these are Nutcracker again, but this one looks like it's a tin. And then two 88 Uncle Sam Nutcrackers ones. So again, duplicates. And then the box. Uh, this is actually not a Hallmark. This is an Ionesco Country Cousins. She's very cute. Merry Christmas, Mom. She's sweet. Now I'm realizing right now I don't have the other um, the dad tin ornament that's in the wrong box. I don't have the other box. Uh, see little season's greeting sled, which is written upside down. There we go. Nostalgic sled. Another little cinnamon bear. We have a couple of those. This is another raccoon tunes plush ornament. Oh, it's funny. It is Hallmark. Huh. So he's a little raccoon stuffed plush. Uh, let's see what's back here. We've got another horse. There's a football holiday hero. Santa is a football player. Another copy of Uncle Sam. Uh, and then down to these. Um, so this is the Izzy, the 1996 mascot um, from the Olympics. Let's see if he's got any value. More and more I'm thinking I should have spent my money on something else. Um, getting there, I'm almost done. Uh, yeah, not really. Wow, that's sad. Not really at all. Okay, and then this is another like Olympic Santa, but the torch is broken on it, so um, I might put them together, but he's not going to have much value again being broken. And finally, the Elmer Fudd that we that started this whole mess because I wanted him for myself. The little Elmer Fudd Santa. Because we have all that said pop culture and TV and stuff on our tree. And last is a little Avon Winter Pal tree ornament. Oh, I do want to show you one other thing real quick. Let's see what he is. Yep, that's cute. Again, looks very much like a Hallmark. And it's a little little bit different construction. Little pals there from Avon. Um, part of what he convinced me, but I think, um, well, again, I know he was wrong now because I got home and looked. Um, this is another example of why you are don't buy with your heart. <laughs> um, was this bag? It had a bunch of these in it. Oh, that's weird. Look at that. Merry Christmas from Celtic Woman. I wonder what that is. That actually might be something special. Um, so these seem like the least, in, well, they actually kind of are. There's a bunch in here that he said were Hallmarks, but what they actually are, these are, you won't be able to pick it up down there, but it says um, Lifesavers. These are those Christmas ornaments that came on the front of a Lifesaver package. These actually have a little bit of value. These are a uh, designer called uh, G, it's Gloria Duchin, Duchin. Uh, it's on the back there. These are from the 70s, and these actually do have a little bit of value. Um, some of them are inscribed. They look like the ones that you used to get when you go to, like, that engraving store and, you know, have your kids' names engraved on Christmas ornaments. The Rudolph's real, real sweet, but I'll probably just group all those together. So that's what I got. The question is, how am I going to make my money back? Um, is there not just, oof, not just my money back, but... 30 plus, let's say double. I really need to double because with shipping and everything and the time it takes to put it up, is there 60 to $100 worth of ornaments that I can sell be between now and Christmas in that box? If there's not, this was not a good deal. So that's what I'm shooting for and that's it. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to go back to packing and shipping and I hope you're having a really good day, whether you're on pop culture, buying eBay or whatever.